this year has been a, tre a tremendous year for Oakland. There is a new mayor, a new superintendent, and now there's three new board members. And I have the pleasure of interviewing one of the new board members today mm -hmm. to tell us about her journey from in Oakland to the school board. With me is Director Amy Ng, who is on the Board of Education for the Oakland Unified School District. <laughs> Welcome and congratulations. Thank you. That's exciting. I, I was at the inauguration when you were getting sworn in, and you said your family has six generations in Oakland? Six generations Incredible. through the years that are, have lived in Oakland. Tremendous. And, and you said there's a rich history that your, your, was it your grandfather that was the vice mayor of Oakland? Yeah, Is that correct? My, okay. my grandfather was the first elected Asian American city councilman in Oakland and one of the first Asian Americans in the country to be elected actually to public office. And so he served four terms, 1967 to 1983. So you were just raised in it. <laughs> Wonderful. So, and you, and you, and just a, just a bit of history about you and who you are. Could you, Many people in Oakland may know you, but there's a lot that we'll learn learn about Absolutely. you now that you're on the school board. So yeah. just tell us some of your journey to the school board. Absolutely. So I was born in Oakland, but I was actually raised in a nearby suburb. And so we spent our weekends coming to Oakland Chinatown, where we had many family celebrations. And of course, my grandparents and all of my family were here living right on Lake Merritt. Um, and so, uh, you know, really what I learned from my family was a, a commitment towards service and towards philanthropy. And so it was part of our blood from when we were really little. We were always volunteering and being a part of different uh, volunteer activities. And so um, I've known from a very young age that I, I wanted to serve publicly and, and just really had a passion for um, the, the influence that you could make for, for a positive change within a community at a local level. And so. Um, I went away for college, came back to grad school where I studied education policy and just really saw what a key lever education plays in greater community and social change. And so um, I've worked in nonprofits and, and in the philanthropic sector most of my professional career. And that's um, part of what has motivated me to want to serve on a, a, a board, a school board at a local level. Well, wow. so since you have had such a rich history in Oakland, now that you're on the school board, what is, what is your vision for what you'd like to see accomplished in mm -hmm. the next year? Yeah, so um, thanks to the voters of Oakland, we have a tremendous opportunity with the passage of Measure N around um, what, what we call link learning. and, and um, uh, essentially what it is um, it enables us to do is rethink how we think about high schools we have a number of, of smaller learning academies industry specific um, learning academies around health and around media and um, s different industries and what this passage of this measure does is really open up the opportunities um, to really scale that throughout all of our high schools and so I'm really excited as we think about implementation this first year of how do we re-envision what high school can look like and how do we provide more access to students who um, want to be in um, these academies to, to um, be able to participate in them from an um, earlier um, grade in, in high school. Right. So will the, the measure in the link learning funding, it would change how the, like each high school will now have an academy at their school and they'll have a community that will have input on what that will look like? Is that part of yeah. what you Okay. Yeah, it happens at the school level. The way that the, the legislation was written is that high schools will come up with the plan of what, what they want to, um, how they envision the pathway programs um, at their schools um, expanding and they're submitted to a commission, a five-person commission, and um, the commission will make the final decision on that. But there's already a number of um, pathway programs that are in our high schools. I've had the opportunity of visiting some really amazing programs like the Environmental Science Academy at, at Oakland High School nice. um, that are just doing tremendous work and so I'm really excited to um, be able to um, increase the number of slots so that more students who are wanting to be able to um, have access to these programs can be able to enroll in them. Right. Before you Thank leave, you. can you just tell us uh, some of your wisdom that you would like to share with the youth in the community to help inspire them to be a board member, of elected course. official, or a Queen of the Cherry Blossom Pageant. <laughs> you never know yeah, where a Queen of a Cherry Blossom Pageant is in. See? Well, I have had such a wonderful opportunity to connect with youth here in Oakland since far before the, the campaign experience. And I am just always so uh, impressed by, by our, our youth and the wisdom of our youth. And so I guess if there was any nugget that I could share in my 
you know, I'm not sure if I'm the best one to share it, but I, I, you know, I would just really empower them that they, you know, to validate their voice and give them confidence to, to really, um, uh, to get involved, to, to, to speak up, to be proactive, um, and be the, be, you know, not to be cheesy, but be the change that they want to see. I, I just have been so impressed by youth, and um, I um, have been, um, I have been the um, recipient of a, a lot of really great mentorships programs. I have um, also become a mentor to many Oakland youth, and I know that um, that is the future of our city in their hands. And so I'm really excited to be able to serve on behalf of our youth here in Oakland and to um, really be able to empower them to in the future years um, to build a better Oakland that, that we all want to be a part of. Great. Thank you. And congratulations. And we'll Thank look you. for you at the board meetings and look for you more in the Oakland community serving uh, District 2. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. You've been watching Spotlight with Shonda Scott. Today our spotlight was on Director Amy Ean, who's a new school board member of the Oakland Unified School District, where every student thrives. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm.